Here's how to go through the flooding procedures for a one-cylinder, two-stroke cycle gasoline powered chainsaw. Flooding can occur for a variety of reasons, but a common reason is overchoking the saw. If you attempt to start a cold saw and start it in full choke with a lever all the way down, you're closing the butterfly valve to the carburetor which restricts airflow inside. Continuing to pull the cord after the saw pops can cause flooding. This is due to the fuel-air mixture being too rich, preventing the spark plug from igniting it. If it's been determined that the saw is flooded, immediately begin flooding procedures. There are two different procedures to unflood the saw. One method is used during vertical ventilation and the other is used in less urgent situations where there's more time and tools available to remove the spark plug. It's based on the manufacturer's recommendation. The first method we'll discuss is for use during vertical ventilation. First, put the saw in the off position or all the way up on the choke lever. By putting the saw in the off position, we are cutting off the fuel supply. Make sure the chain brake is still engaged and, from the off position, pull the cord 8 to 10 times as we try to expel the excess fuel out of the exhaust port. After pulling the cord 8 to 10 times, move the choke lever into the run position or one click down from off. Do not go back into full choke by pushing the choke lever all the way down. This defeats the purpose of the flooding procedures by cutting off the air again. So again, with the chain brake engaged and either in a normal starting position or a modified drop start position, pull up on the cord in a short, firm motion until the saw begins to run. The standard way to unflub the saw is by putting the saw in the off position or all the way up on the choke lever before removing the air filter cover, air filter itself, air baffle, and spark plug boot to expose the spark plug. Use a scrunch to remove the spark plug. If moisture is visible on the tip of the plug, use a clean, dry rag to wipe it off. After removing the spark plug, ensure that the saw is in the off position with the chain brake set and pull the cord 8 to 10 times to flush out the excess fuel. After doing so, reassemble the saw, put it back into run or one click down from the off position, and pull the cord to start the saw. The saw has now been unflooded and can be placed back in service.